Local Catholics reeling today after two priests are removed following allegations of sexual misconduct with minors. The Archdiocese informed parishioners during Sunday Mass. Ken's Five reporter Zach Briggs joins us live from the Catholic Chancery. And Zach, have criminal charges been filed? No criminal charges filed as of yet, Deborah, but the Archdiocese of San Antonio, they have referred the cases to law enforcement agencies. Meanwhile, the San Antonio Archbishop stated that he hopes that this action today leads to others to report sexual abuse. Sunday Mass at St. Monica's Catholic Church. That's where parishioners learned why Father Alejandro Ortega has been absent in recent weeks. It is with a heavy heart and great sadness that I inform you of substantiated allegations of sexually inappropriate physical contact with a minor by your former parochial vicar, Father Alejandro Ortega. Father Martin Leopold read from a statement issued by San Antonio Archbishop Gustavo Garcia Sierra. He revealed that a minor reported the sexual misconduct on June 24th during a religious retreat. This prompted the archdiocese to conduct an investigation which led to discovering sufficient evidence of Ortega's alleged inappropriate contact with a minor and adult women. The review board further recommended that Father Ortega may pose a continuing risk to minors, that he should not be returned to ministry, and that the affected communities, you, be notified. On July 25th, the Archdiocese received a sexual abuse report through its misconduct hotline. An independent investigation led to gathering evidence of sexual misconduct with a minor involving alleged grooming. Father Eduardo Martinez Solis of St. Joseph and Honey Creek Church was relieved from his duties. I hope that this will also assist the healing process and provide inspiration to other survivors of sexual abuse to report to the authorities these tragic incidences. And back out here live, we've learned that both priests in question have been with the Archdiocese of San Antonio for at least the past four years. For now, we're live on the west side, Zach Briggs, Ken's Five. Thank you, Zach.